All right, so we got top 10 Legend of Zelda games of all time. Let's get to the video. Let's go eight. Hey, man, I had one of those box TVs. I had to lift those things up. Like, they were like 80 pounds, bro. Of Zelda continues with I just put my GameCube on those. To celebrate the latest game in Nintendo's long-running series, we took the time to look back and rank the best Zelda games of all time, reminiscing on our favorite adventures. While we hope to continue venturing to Hyrule time and time again, these are our picks. What do you guys think is number Zelda one? Comment down below right now. So far. I think Breath of the Wild is, like, definitely top three. If I'm being real. If they're counting Tears of the Kingdom, ooh, I think Tears of the Kingdom, Kingdom is definitely top five. Twilight Princess. That's that's ten. Twilight Princess gets an unfairly bad rap among Zelda fans as the darker and edgier Zelda. I thought people liked this one though. Unfavorable comparisons to Wind Waker, which is arguably held up better in comparison. Okay. Under all the cruft is a quality Zelda adventure with a large world to explore, all right. many enjoyable side quests, and some great dungeons. I thought people liked this one though. Being a highlight. But the okay. strongest element of Twilight Princess by far is Midna, a snarky imp who rides around on Wolf Link's back and basically trolls him for the duration of the game. She's a far more appealing companion than the pestering Navi, with her story tying firmly into Twilight Princess world and lore. She gives Twilight <laughs> Princess a style all its own, a style that deserves more respect than it's been given over the years. It's oh, not snap. Quite to push it so a lot of people, so a lot of Zelda fans releases. didn't rock with this. The bloat in this game is extreme. Oh! Still a quality entry with a Rikishi. lot of to the Zelda mythos. <laughs> <laughs> the Legend of Zelda. Oh, the original. Okay. The original Legend of Zelda stands as a testament to the power and allure of sprawling, vast video game worlds. It was that's crazy, bro. Right and I think Legend of Zelda. They start. It came out like monsters, in like the eighties, bro. Defend yourself. Confident that the thrill of that's crazy. Exploration would lead players to investigate, experiment, and find their own way. Mine's definitely Breath of the Wild. I'll be real. Tears the of the Legend Kingdom is really good too, but paths and storytelling and Breath of the Wild definitely got me into Zelda. I'll, I'll keep it honest. I was one of those late, late bugs. And crammed its world full of dungeons and secrets that endeared itself to encouraging players and to sharing tips and revelations with their friends at school. Even now, it stands the test of time as one of the best examples of giving players the freedom to find their own path, learn from mistakes, and slowly master a strange new world. Okay. So this is number nine, though. The original is number nine. Link Between Worlds, huh? I'd, I'd never Worlds played this one. Surprise when it first released on yeah, Nintendo I'd never DS touched this one. I'll, I'll keep it real. Initially dismissed as a pale copy of A Link to the Past, fans were surprised and delighted by its non-linear progression and high-quality dungeon design. Far from a mere knockoff, A Link Between Worlds turned out to be one of the tightest, most enjoyable Zelda experiences in years. Oh, snap, because okay. It's portable entry, A Link Between Worlds tends to be overlooked when discussing the top Zelda games, which is a shame. Well, it's in some ways I mean, you gotta admit, there's like the 50 of them, though. There's the like 50 the Zelda games. Well, not, up rather well on not 50, but like, there's a lot of Zelda games. I think there's like 20, I think. Legitimately, I think there's like 20. This part's a little loud. The ability to tackle dungeons in any order hints at the direction Breath of the Wild would take a few years later. And its story is surprisingly emotional. What do you guys think will, uh, will be number one? And fans. comment down below, uh, As a tribute to classic Zelda, what's your favorite Zelda game? A wonderful treat. Link's Awakening. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening crafts one of the more unique okay, stories in the Legend of Zelda franchise. The world, characters, okay. and story venture off the beaten path and succeed without relying on locations yeah, I don't really know characters this one. like Zelda and Ganon that I'll keep it expected to appear. We've seen three iterations of Link's Awakening, and each one's additions to the formula have made this entry on the list even better. Okay. The X version included an additional dungeon that filled the world with vivid colors. The 2019 remake advanced it further with an updated Ooh. art style for its characters. I didn't know they had a 2019 remake. That energized the heartfelt moments through Link's journey like never before. Damn, I really gotta catch up on my on my Zelda history, bro. I mean, obviously, I just now got into Zelda, but like, bro, I gotta I gotta New get check up like on my on my history, bro. Replayability. Oh my lord! To and explore custom dungeons and share them with our friends. Link's Awakening is a testament to the franchise with its dungeons, puzzles, and music, which became the foundation for many of the future Zelda games. It is one of the simpler games of the franchise, but the mastery of the gameplay loop and core elements of what it means to be a traditional Zelda game is what makes it special for Legend of Zelda fans. Okay. What's the number? The Wind Waker. Time has been kind to the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. 
though some fans greeted its cartoony, cel-shaded style with ire Which one is this one? of more mature takes on the franchise, the Wind Waker's vibrant, this like this was on a DS. is more widely accepted for how beautiful and unique its take on Hyrule is. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of ocean to sail around. And even with the improvements made in the Wind Waker's Wii U re-release, the sailing around on extended hunts can weigh the experience down. All I know is Breath of the Wild better be the number sailing, one. When it often works, is a zen-like, freeing experience that nailed the sense and feel of open <laughs> adventure that Zelda has perfected so frequently throughout the franchise. Exploring new shores and not quite knowing what to expect. It better be number one. If it's not, bro, we're fighting, bro. I mean, hey, IGN. I, I want to fight. Entirely. Wind Waker captures that sense of thrilling mystery with each new chapter. Introducing a surprisingly dark and fascinating story that ranks amongst the best actual tales told throughout the series. Add to it some familiar but solid content. Yeah, they was over there trading, going back and forth like a, a volleyball. Endearing familiar and new characters, and as ever, a moving score. The Wind Waker not only nails the Zelda staples it needs. Yeah, I never played this one. I'll keep it real, y'all. I don't really, I don't really got nothing much to say about this. One. I never played this one. Oh, Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is most recognizable for adding a device Ooh, that boy, <laughs> that, you loved that boy Link got absolutely it's jumped. The core gameplay loop, permeating throughout the world, NPC behavior, and side quests, incentivizing us to optimize and prioritize our time. So is this like a scary version of the game? Each three-day cycle before needing to play the Song of Time and restart all over again. Many of the characters and items in Majora's Mask were reused, but reworked and amplified to make What's them this, more like a Halloween version? influential than their previous appearances. I've never seen a Zelda Masks game this and dark. items were enhanced and placed into the forefront as centerpieces to how the story would unfold. People in the world became integral to advancing elements of the story and its subplots. Time itself and your trusty ocarina became a necessary tool. Oh, who to was the that? Of Link and all the inhabitants of Termina, if managed poorly. Now this got to be. Majora's Mask remains one of the most somber entries in the franchise, and often deals with heavier themes such as abandonment, trauma, and death. Okay, this is okay. Other entries in the franchise. This is like a, a scary version of the game. Time limit and darker tones. It pushed the franchise forward and gave us a new perspective on the adventures of our hero of time. Wait a minute, I'm missing one. Ocarina of I was just oh my god, hey, on my life, on my mind. Of time I was just about to say Ocarina of Time. I was gonna say, wait, I'm missing one. When it launched, I literally just said I'm missing one. Y'all cannot know, bro. What 3D adventure no, y'all cannot say like I no. Nah. Because I was I was about to say, wait a minute, there's a missing one. Switching between exploration and one on one combat. Ocarina of Time. Okay, I I know this one. puzzles to the way the series staples. I know this one. And bow and arrow are implemented. Ocarina of Time is rightfully Ocarina of Time the is game of its era. Yeah, it is one of the best Nintendo 64 games. Nintendo games haven't always aged gracefully given the I, I cannot lie, bro. Day. But Ocarina of Time remains incredibly Y'all cannot tell me I, I wasn't missing what I told y'all. Talking about the original classic or its tweaked and improved 3DS. No, nah, but, but this is a really good game though. This is a really good game. The definitive Zelda experience to date for many fans. That's one of the first uh, Zelda games that I played whenever I first got into it. I'll keep it real. Translated it to a three-dimensional realm. Which brings us to the game that narrowly beat out Ocarina of Time for a panel. Breath of the Wild, obviously. Yeah. What? I thought you said, huh? Building off the vast top down world oh, so Breath of the Wild is number one, Hyrule, right? Okay. Link to the past refined the scope. I was so confident. Free form adventure for an engaging storyline. A dense. <laughs> I was so confident. I was like, oh yeah, Breath of the Wild. Duh, duh. Sprawling mirror dimension that was the dark world. I, I'm be real. I never played this one. I'm, I'm just keep it, uh, keep it uh, uh, buck fifty with you. I, I never played this one. Huge variety of puzzle filled dungeons lured over by some of the most imposing bosses in the series. I'll keep it. I've never touched this one. With its rip soaring soundtrack and beautiful sprite graphics, I'll keep it real though. I think I think Tears of the Kingdom, right, in the land of might Hyrule, be featuring tons of quirky characters Breath of the Wild, bro. As well as secrets and heart I, I think it might be better. Almost every screen, each new item gained on your adventure. Oh, it might be. I don't know though. To be it's really with, good, y'all. applications. It's really good. crafted dungeons or uncovering new areas on the overworld map. It's so Even good, bro. Even all these bro. years later, you'll be hard pressed to find I a like more Breath of the Wild more Zelda though. experience. I don't know. What's number two, though? All right, Breath of the Wild better be number one, though. I don't get, oh, what's number two? The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild reinvented a 30-year-old series in a way we rarely see. No, 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 no. This is number one. Breath of the Wild readjusted dramatically in the opposite This is number one. go anywhere What's number one? any order you wanted. And goodness gracious, there was a lot to choose from. What's number one? 
There no, bro. What's number one? Honestly, like, to throw up wait, wild, hold up. With common ones being around the lack of Zelda's traditional dungeons What's number and items, one, though? But what's truly impressive is how much it maintained the heart of a Zelda game, even as it altered nearly every system around it. To a certain extent, Zelda has always been about exploration. No way choice. they're gonna put Tears of the Kingdom, the wild, like you know, in here this early, right? Those aspects of itself above all. If it is Tears of the Kingdom, I respect world, it. A place that would react to those choices as well. There's just so much to see, so many people to meet, and secrets to find hidden throughout this long since devastated version of Hyrule. But while the options available to you are enormous in scale, there's a subtle restraint at play here as well. With Nintendo reframing from cramming your minimap full of markers and waypoints that so many other games do. Indeed, Breath of the Wild didn't just reinvent Zelda in this way, it shook up the entire open world adventure genre. It by did. Empowering you to make your own moments rather than giving you an exhaustive it did. checklist to methodically go down. It did, bro. No one is telling you to climb that one particular hill in the distance, but if you want to do so, you better believe a Korok will be waiting there to reward you for your effort. There's always been a bit of a distinction between 2D and 3D Zelda games, but Breath of the Wild and its successors may end up defining a third category for the series going forward. Whether or not you prefer the more structured nature of the mainline games before it, the impact Breath of the Wild has had on both Zelda itself and the industry as a whole is undeniable. What's number one and though? The endless slew of magical, natural discoveries it provides. I thought this was number one. What are they gonna put as number one? I respect it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 I, I, I respect the it. Okay. The latest entry into the Zelda series it. is also its best. Yeah, I respect it. Yeah, I respect it. Yeah. Tears of the Kingdom is the yeah, best Zelda is. game of all time. You can rest assured knowing Nintendo has done their best. To yeah, it might be already though. That's what I'm the saying. Legend it might Zelda be already Tears of the though. Kingdom is an unfathomable follow up to one of the greatest games ever made. Somehow improving upon it in nearly every way. Yeah, be that it with might simple be. Yeah, quality of life it improvements, might be. It might, I told you it might be, bro. Story or wildly creative the reason I didn't say Tears of the Kingdom is number is one is because it's too it early. It's literally like two days since the game came out. So immense, but bro, it is good, bro. Breath of the Wild is it is, bro. All that big, with an almost alarming it number is. of tasks to complete, mysteries to discover, and delightful distractions to keep you from ever reaching that place you naively thought you were headed. Nintendo True. has followed up a triumph with a triumph. They did, yeah, back to back, yeah. Cardi's boys, Rockstar Games. Beyond expectation and raising the bar ever higher into the clouds. For our complete thoughts on yeah. the latest Legend of Zelda, yeah. check out our full review of Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. I, I listen. I knew Breath of the Wild was gonna be. Uh, I knew Breath of the Wild was gonna be uh, at least. I thought it was gonna be number one. The reason I didn't say Tears of the King was because, was because it was too early. Which games That's why. Are your favorite? But let us know in the comments and for everything else, keep it here on IGN. But they included uh Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. But yeah, the reason I didn't uh, I didn't include uh, Tears of the King was because literally the game came out 2 days ago. I didn't know IGN was going to include like the the new Zelda game, the new uh, Tears of the Kingdom, so uh so yeah, that's why I didn't put it as number one. But Tears of the Kingdom is a very, very, very good game. It might be game of the year already. We are in May, so obviously the year is not done. We got a lot of different games coming through, uh, especially later in the year. But um, hey, one thing I want to say is, bro, this year, 2023, has been a really, really, really good year of gaming, uh, which has been a, a while, in my opinion. Uh, for me, we haven't reached this level of, of gaming Um Honestly, we haven't reached this game. Uh, and listen, I know I'm very bold for speaking, you know, and like, you know, before half of the year. But in my opinion, we haven't reached this level, you know, when it, when it comes to the back to back bangers since um, since 2018. I'm going to go 2018. Yeah, because what wait, what dropped in 2019? 2019. The last of us dropped in 20. Hold up. Wait a minute. Did The Last of Us drop in 2019 or 2020? Because I can't lie, Last of Us Part Two was a really, really good game. But tw uh, but 2018 was a really good game too. We had games like God of War, Spider Man, Detroit Become Human. Like, bro, 2018 was was a really good year. Um, uh, I think 2019, 2020, uh, Last of Us Two came out. Um, uh, 2020, actually no, 2020 was a really good year too because. That's when Warzone first dropped. That's when Fall Guys first dropped. 
uh, Among Us first drop. I mean, honestly, I feel like 2020 was a really good year for content creators, uh, gaming content creators, because uh, these games were very uh, content creator, you know, oriented type games. Obviously, people can play them as well. I'm not saying that like all video games are for content creators. You know, let me just say that. But at the end of the day, you got to admit, uh, it was very fun seeing like a bunch of your favorite streamers, you know, playing uh, Among Us and playing Fall Guys and, you know, um, and, and stuff like that. So 2020 was a really good year of gaming too. 2021, I forgot what game dropped in 21. Uh, 2022, 2022 was an okay year. I mean, obviously, we had uh, Elden Ring drop. We had uh, God of War drop as well. So 2022 was a really good, was a good year. But this year, bro, hey. I'm going to keep it real, bro. Atomic Heart. I really liked Atomic Heart. Um, Red, um, I almost said Red Dead. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil uh, 4 Remake dropped. We had uh, some people like... I mean, I like Dead Space. I mean, obviously, it wasn't the best game, but I like Dead Space. It was pretty cool. So, Dead Space, Atomic Heart, uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake. Uh, we also had... Uh, well, we have Zelda that dropped. So, that's a pretty fire thing. Um, what else? Star Wars Jedi Survivor dropped this year, bro. Like, come on, bro. Already we're doing good. Already this year, it, it, it just started off absolutely insane. We got Star Wars, and then back-to-back -back after Star Wars was Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So, uh, it, it's, it, it's fair to say that a lot of gamers, um, you know, that really, you know, that really play a lot of different games, they're not really running out of anything. Because, honestly, I, I bet people are still playing uh, Star Wars right now. And then right after that, they got Zelda. If they're, you know, if they're interested in Zelda, stuff like that. And we also have uh, games dropping off later in the year. So, listen, you never know. Um, and so, yeah, I would like comment down below what you guys think about this video. And, um, and yeah, this, honestly, I think this, this is a pretty okay list. Actually, no, this is a pretty good list. It's like uh, the ones before, like 10, 9, 8. Or, like, I, I didn't really play those. I actually know most of them. From 10 to 5, I didn't really play those. Uh, again, I just now got into Zelda. So, um, other than that, all the Zelda, you know, fanboys, including my... Well, I, listen, I'm, I'm starting to become a Zelda fanboy. So, I can't really, you know, go off on you guys. Because um, I'm, I'm a part of the team. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm a part of the team. So, don't go crazy on me. And uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And, um, yeah, see you later for the next one. I'm out. And